hey 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 my people so welcome to my youtube channel um today i'm gonna be addressing one question that i received from few people uh in regard to my previous video that i did on an on f1 student video so uh i received questions in regard to if somebody is already a nurse from Kenya or from whichever country this person specifically was asking is from Kenya but then um, it could be a nurse somewhere else in the world and uh, how they can come here and work as a nurse without going to school so um, I went ahead and researched I found about five companies or agencies that that can sponsor somebody to come and work in the u.s as a nurse and um and you know with this i'm not by no means trying to you know make people who are working in their countries you know helping lives in their countries to move to the u.s but what i'm trying to do is for first is for answering that specific question that i received but also to help anybody who might be wanting to change jobs or you know maybe graduated and they have not been successful in finding the job the job that they will they love and um you know if if there's a chance with these agencies uh, i mean a, it's good to know so that you can try with them so uh i researched but i, I want to say that if you if you are going to go with these companies, go ahead and go online and search for them. Go through their requirements, each one by one, because uh, not all of them have the same requirements. Um, and then see which one fits you in terms of processing to get you where you want to be. So um, in that regard, I, I saw a few of the common requirements while that most of these companies were asking for NCLEX. NCLEX is the exam that all nurses do. You know, it's a, it's the, the the exams that they do to certify them for them to be nurses or to be recognized as nurses in America. So, um, that was one requirement that I saw most companies were asking for. And also the, 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 the other requirement that I saw is that somebody must have been a registered nurse or like um, you, you have a license, you have a, 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 a registered nurse license and you have been working in your home country for at least one year that means like you you know you have an experience of at least one year working in an in a you know a, a hospital that has more than 80 beds so you might have been a nurse but working in like a clinic that means you have not qualified i also saw another requirement that was um uh, it was English testing, TOEFL. If you guys remember me speaking about TOEFL from the previous video, is also required. This is an English testing whereby the Americans test you on how to communicate in English. Really, it's not like you you have to like perfectly speak English, but like you have to be able to communicate, and they have to be able to you know, to, to understand your English. So uh, that's one other requirement that was required there. But I want to encourage everybody who is going to take these steps through these agencies to go and search them online. And I'm going to also put the names of those agencies on the description box of my, my video then you can find them there easily. So um, so the first company is Avant Healthcare Professional. Avant Healthcare Professional. 
uh, the second company is Adavia Health. The third company is Premier Health Professionals. The fourth company is Worldwide Health Staffing. The fifth company, the fifth company is also special in a way because um, it's um, this company not only brings or enables somebody to come in through them uh, to come in and, and, and work here, but also it gives chances to F1 students who are already in the country. You know, F1 students, as we may know or may have heard before, F1 students are not really allowed to work in the u.s unless you go through other processes that will allow you to work but uh this this agency gives chances to those f1 students that are already in the country to work with them if you are already the requirements i saw is that if you are already having um you are you already have a registered nurse license and you are either doing your BSN, that to mean Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, you are either in the process of getting that, or you are you already have it, or you are on OPT. So if you have those requirements, then they can take you in and, and get a contract with them, sign a contract with them that allows you to work a certain number of years that you sign with them, then with that, they the benefit of doing that is they process for you um, your green card. So you get your green card through this company. You also get, uh, you know, before getting the green card, they give you uh, an employment authorization card that goes however long you want to work and then they give you the green card, which is the most important thing that everyone else who comes to America looks for. So they, 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 they process for you the green card. And then of course they place you in, in, in hospitals for jobs. So you are not missing a job with them. You are getting paid. You are having your work permit and you are having your green card. So I feel like this is a really, really nice thing for F1 students. So this company, which is the fifth company, it's called Adex Medical Staffing. Adex Medical Staffing. Thank you for listening to this uh, video. I hope it helps. I hope it helps the person who asked as well. Um, in my next video, I'm going to also search for you guys where you can do your NCLEX exam uh, while you are in Kenya. Because that's a requirement I saw that they need. I hope you have fun with that. Thank you. See you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.